I wanted my own place. And so I signed up for CHA Scattered Sites because that's what it was at the time. Jeanette Taylor first applied for affordable housing through the Chicago Housing Authority in 1993. At the time, she was living in a one-bedroom apartment with her three children and several other of her family members. That's a lot of people in a one change to a two-bedroom. And so I wanted my own space because I know how important that is to the growth of your kids. And, and my friend, a friend of mine was like, if you move out here, you'll, you know, you'll get your voucher quicker. Taylor, now an older woman representing Chicago's 20th Ward, didn't hear back about her affordable housing voucher until the early 2000s, over a decade later. She made it off the list, but immediately ran into a wall with her eligibility. Her eldest son had just graduated high school, and in order to receive the voucher, he would need to move out, and she would need to remove him from the lease. Anybody over the age of 18, you got to show their income or if they're in school. And at the time, he had just graduated from high school. So he wasn't registered in another school yet, and he wasn't working yet. And they told me he cannot be on my lease. Um, and if they caught him in my unit, I will lose my CHA house. So basically making me pick between myself, us having housing, and my son. And I was like, I'm going to go with my son all day long. And it was just this past Memorial Day weekend that the older woman received another acceptance letter from the CHA. Nearly three decades after her initial application, she'd once again made it off the waiting list. The letter surprised Taylor as she recently had a meeting with the head of CHA. Initially, she thought the letter was a reference to that. I waited 29 years for this and now I can't even take it because of my income. And so it just makes no sense to me whatsoever. And it was like, what was y'all thinking? She says her income as an older woman disqualifies her from the voucher program. After 29 years, she's been able to find her own affordable housing, renting a spacious room from a friend. And while she's no longer in need, thousands of Chicagoans are. We got all this vacant land, but we also got 120,000 people on the CHA waiting list. On top of, we got 58,000 homeless people and a large percent of those are people under the age of 18. Ashley Jamison, a federal attorney, was a government contractor with the CHA for nearly a decade. In her experience, wait times for Section 8 housing are directly due to a lack of funding from the federal government. For more families and for new families, they need funding. And that funding comes directly from the federal government. So that money needs to be appropriated from, how, from the Congress so that you know, the Department of Housing and Urban Development can provide it to the housing authorities across the country, because it's not just CHA that has a long waiting list. This is a common occurrence across all the housing authorities across the country, that they have long wait times. The scarcity of public housing is a nationwide issue, with most major housing authorities having similarly long wait times for their voucher program. And that scarcity is made even worse by the cyclical nature of poverty. With many households being multi-generational, vouchers are often passed down from older family members to younger ones. Families do tend to live multi-generational because they can't afford to live on their own. So that's another, you know, reason why the vouchers tend to pass down through families. Both older woman Taylor and Jameson say the most effective thing to do is to be vocal about your experiences with Section 8 housing. It's how she and the rest of us learned about older woman Taylor's story and so many others like it. We have an opportunity while we in these spaces to do something. And so honestly, I wasn't going to share the letter because I felt the shame. Like, mm. and I shouldn't be a same shame. The system should. Our money needs to be appropriated for public housing. That's it. Like, that's literally the, the end all be all of it. I'm Jamaica Ponder, CBS News, Chicago.